Right, we're live. Good morning, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining this live broadcast of Nine Whites TV. So, I'm hoping you'll know, because if you follow our social media channels, you'll know that we're staging a mid-engined and mates cars and coffee today at Porsche of Bournemouth. It's really nice to do something different. Obviously, a lot of these cars and coffees that everybody does, it's all 911 focused, and that's really cool, because the 911 is central to what Porsche is all about, really, and its DNA, but, as we all know, there's a variety of sports cars made by this wonderful company, and a lot of them are mid-engine, so we thought we'd celebrate that today. So, it's Nineworks mid-engine and mates at Porsche Bournemouth. I'm just gonna show you around very quickly so you can see what's here. So I'll spin the camera around, let the fun begin. So, I mean, we start with this. This was the poster car, really, um, for like all of our promo. Uh, Matt Pickering's 914. It looks so good, and I have to say, it looks even better in a clinical Porsche showroom. It's such a lovely contrast. Absolutely awesome on the Teledial wheels. The first thing you're going to be wondering is, is it painted? Is it wrapped? What's the score? The answer is it's painted. Matt has actually uh, got a graffiti artist to paint the car. So it is paint, and just look at it. It looks absolutely awesome, absolutely awesome. And again, this is kind of what we're all about at Mid-Engine and Mates today, is to just showcase something a little bit different. And, of course, it's driven, not hidden. <laughs> really cool. Um, it's probably worth doing a video about these soon, so I'll probably do that. But in case you don't know, as a top level, it was uh, a joint venture between Porsche and Volkswagen in the mid-1970s, kind of replaced the 912 platform, really, as the entry-level Porsche sports car of the time. Very, very, very cool. Don't think you're going to be able to see too much. No, but the engine lives just behind there, of course. So, uh, yeah, look at this. Uh, RS60 Spider, based on the 987 Gen 1 platform, owned by the legendary Toby Dyer. He's got some 911s in the stable as well, but then has also got this very recently. Um, and the car came with a black roof, but from factory they were red. So the first thing he's done is put the, put the red roof on. It's a numbered production run, 1960 uh, in homage to the RS60 Spider of the time. And they all came with this uh, red interior as well. Six speed manual, of course. Very, very, very nice. Very, very, very nice. Look at that, look how good that sits. And if you think in comparison to say a modern 992, just look how small that car is and nimble and everything else. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So elsewhere in the showroom here at Porsche Bournemouth, we've got some other mid-engined goodness for you. Uh, I mean, look at this, how special is that? Viper Green, that is, in case you're wondering. 987 Cayman R, no less. Owned by a lovely chap called Peter, who's come down today from Kent to be with us. Um, it's the only one. It's one of a kind. Allegedly, so the story goes, it was owned by somebody who buys lots of Porsches and they wanted a Cayman R, so long as it was painted the same colour as their GT3 RS. Porsche are obliged, and that is now to Peter's benefit owned the car for five years it's got 23,000 on the clock the Cayman R I mean again look I need to do a video on these cars as well they did come in PDK or manual obviously for the, the purists will tell you that the manual's the one to have if you want to learn a little bit more about the car that's where you need to head on Instagram but look at that that's seriously 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 special so that's from the 987.2 platform if you wanted a soft top version, really, which is probably the best way this can be described, then you'd want this, the 987 Spider. Now, we've spoken about this car plenty on Nineworks Radio. Go and take a listen if you've not heard that podcast so far. But we all, all three of us presenters love these cars, and it's kind of the sweet spot between all of our different tastes. Um, just driving purity. I know that a 911 Speedster is very popular, but for me, money no object, I'd take a Spider over a Speedster every single time. That's not even a debate as far as I'm concerned. Lightweight, nimble, uh, open top, of course, naturally aspirated, rear wheel drive. They were manual, some were PDK. 
It's uh, pick your poison really, but yeah, all lightweight, alloy doors, etc., etc. Again, I need to do a video on these, but they're just properly cool. Properly cool. Wonder what one you'd rather have, eh? Cayman R or 987 Spider, but both brilliant examples of the 987 platform. Then, of course, uh, we got this, which is owned by Peter Wormley. Again, Peter's travelled down from London way to be with us today and put the car on display. I'm really grateful. Uh, so this is the 987 Black Edition, as you can see on here. A couple of trinkets. Uh, it is a numbered production run. I don't think I can zoom as much, and I don't want to set the alarm off, but 987, because it's from the 987 platform. And uh, as the name suggests, everything's in black. <laughs> uh, dear. Very cool. So yeah, look, all, all that mid-engined offering from the 987.2 platform. These were all had DFI engines, uh, of course. Very cool. So if you like your seriously old school flavour, we're back to more 914s here. Um, 9146 on the end. Very rare. Some 914 or 914 owners have put a flat six engine in, but very, very few of them came as so from the factory. So, really cool. Uh, Ravina or Ravina Green, I butchered the pronunciation of that. But yeah, look, very, very, very cool. And all part of what we've got on offer here at Mid-Engine and Mates. Spin that round, just uh, might be a bit easier to chat to you face to face for a little bit. So I'm just going to take you outside. So these are some of the cars that we've kind of curated on the inside, just to give people a little bit of a, a flavour for what we're all about today. But as always, there's always loads of good stuff in the car park, isn't there? So let's go and have a little bit of a let's go and have a little bit of a look around and see what we've got. Um, actually, I do want to show you this car. So this is Max. Max Newman's 981 Boxster, of course, one of our presenters on Nine Words Radio. There's a brilliant podcast that we did recently where Max explained why he swapped a 991 911 for a 981 Boxster. It's a, it's a really good listen. Max and has put across really nicely uh, his story there and why he preferred a Boxster over the 911 right now. So we'll have a look around. Let's just give you a quick pano of what we got. Hey, <laughs> you all right? How you doing? Yeah, yeah, very good. You what, sorry? Yeah, your R is over there somewhere. Under, under there. <laughs> See you in a bit, Jason. Morning, you all right? Cheers, dude, thank you. I'll come find you in a minute. We'll have a chat. Oh, magic, look at this. So I've got, I've got a coffee for us. You're a star. Thank you, Karen. No, I'm fine. No, fine as. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. How kind is that, hey? Lovely jubbly, a bit of cars and coffee. So, yeah, let's just go back to what I was saying. So we've got all sorts here. We have got some 911s and whatnot and some transaxle cars over there. Porsche is inclusive, not exclusive, as I always say. Uh, but look, yeah, look, another nine, 914, 987. So this is where it starts with a modern mid-engine Porsche stuff owned by Lee Woodhams. I think you bought it last year actually as a rolling project so look great isn't it and i still say these cars are just the best value sports car you can get really martini flavored 981 on what looks like ceramics and then i think i've seen this car before 987 with a different front like gt3 front on it and the buckets and momo mod 7 Pretty cool. Ooh, look at that Boxster S. That looks lovely. That looks lovely. Cool. These cars, I mean, a lot of the 986 Boxsters from what I've seen, whether S or otherwise, a lot of them were in silver of the time. I, I am looking to buy a 986. I'm led on condition, really, but more than anything, I want a colour that isn't silver, if possible. Um, yellow and guards red definitely seem to command more of a premium in the market i think that looks absolutely splendid so 32 you can tell the 32 s uh, from the 27 or 25 non s because of the red brakes so if you're not sure and then by complete contrast look 718 gts four liter uh, the only four liter car you can get or the only car with a four liter engine outside of the gt lineup currently really cool really cool Spider 987 on white wheels. Look how good that's it. Lovely jubbly. Then I'll give a quick, 
quick view around of everything else. I suppose it'd be rude not to show a, a 4RS at mid-engine and mates. Right now the performance pinnacle of the platform, it has to be said. And we keep going round. Just going to give you a little flavour of what's here. Great colours. It's always great to see such awesome colours at these events. And again, uh, if there's anything that sums up what mid-engine and mates, and to be honest, what Nine Works is all about, is just variety. So super old school, two litre 914 next to a Cayman 4RS. Absolutely awesome. Everybody's welcome. That's what we're all about here. Then of course, we've got other bits and pieces. So this car, just as a, I know we're mid-engine, but Nigel's uh, 996 is off to Norway with me next week. So I love the fact he's just, giving it a little stretch of the legs before a big, big, big trip, 3,000 miles in eight days. Uh, more on that in another live next week. And then we've got some other bits and pieces, but let's, let's try and keep it mid-engine for now. Boxer GTS. I think that 981 GTS is the best sounding modern Porsche away from the GT platform. Whether Cayman or Boxster, irrelevant. They sound spectacular. And then we've got a Carmine GT4. Nice to see a GT4 next to a GTS of the same colour. So look, that's it. I think I'm going to sign off there. We've got a great selection of cars at mid-engine and mates. And as I say, that's just kind of what we want to do at Nineworks really is shout about everything that's good about Porsche sports cars and the, the people and the culture behind them. As I say, Porsche is inclusive, not exclusive. So we'll be doing plenty more quirky stuff like this to celebrate all four corners of Porsche car culture and we'll take you along the way. Keep abreast of everything we're doing by signing up to Nineworks on the website, nineworks.co.uk. Our newsletter will tell you everything you need to know and you'll get all news firsthand from there before anybody else. So yeah, that's it for Mid-Engine and Mates. Thanks very much for joining. And I'll see you again soon.